Good evening, I'm Lily Rivkin and you're watching the Yale Daily Minute. This year, Yale received 30,227 regular decision applicants for the class of 2019, the second highest number of applicants ever submitted to Yale. Although there were 705 fewer applications than last year, this year's figure is still 55% larger than the 19,448 applications the university received for the class of 2009. Yale, along with the other Ivy League schools, will release its decisions on March 31st. Governor Danell Malloy was at Yale Law School today, discussing the Second Chance Society initiative. Malloy's plan centers on five main points. Reclassifying specific nonviolent offenses, eliminating mandatory minimum sentences for drug possession, streamlining the parole system, consolidating the pardon system, and creating job and housing opportunities for ex-offenders. Malloy intends to work with nonprofit organizations, housing advocates, and even religious institutions to implement the initiative's goals. In fall 2012, just 30% of alcohol-related emergency transports were initiated by students who were not freshman counselors. But last fall, after the introduction of a new medical emergency policy that focused on safety rather than discipline, that number rose to 51%. The MEP states that if any student calls for help for an intoxicated student, none of the students involved will face disciplinary action for alcohol violations. That's your news in a minute. See tomorrow's paper for more.